we were finding on shorelines, bottled, bottled water, bottled drinks, a substantial proportion of the debris that we're finding. And it seems particularly unnecessary when you consider that these packaging materials are used once and then thrown away, and yet the plastic that's used to make those materials will last in the environment for hundreds if not thousands of years. Volunteers from Beachwatch who clean up the coast have seen the amount of plastic bottles nearly double in the last 10 years. OK, Tom, this is the sort of problem we're up against. We've been cleaning the beach for four years here. We're encountering more and more of these. They even go to the trouble of screwing the tops back on. And there's loads. There's some here, but there's more around the back here. Oh, there's, 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 there's hundreds. If you walk along here, you'll find hundreds. Bottles are the eyesore, but there's a hidden threat too. The raw material that makes most plastic products, granular pellets lost overboard from ships and down drains from factories, are often washed up on the beach. Well, at first glance, it doesn't look like there's very much rubbish on the beach at all. Um, but if you take a closer look here, the whole beach is covered in trillions, I mean trillions, of nurdles. This is raw plastic, plastic in its raw form. So everything they plastic... They look like tiny pebbles, but actually each one of these is a bit of plastic, you say? It is, yeah, yeah. And there are, as you say, yeah, trillions. trillions of them. Does it matter? It does matter. Um, seabirds eat these things once they're floating on the surface of the sea. Birds that feed off the surface, like guillemots and fulmers, will eat these. Um, they attract lots and lots of different toxins uh, which will poison the birds. So if the birds don't actually choke on the plastic itself, the toxins will kill them anyway. The number of fulmars around our shores is down by one third since the 1990s. Plastic is one prime suspect. Scientists have found plastic in 94% of Fulmar's stomachs, each one containing an average of 37 separate bits. And while our seabirds suffer from waste plastic, we continue to buy shiny new plastic wrapped around water from across the oceans. This Fiji water, for example, that we have here, and we have it here for many, many years, people know it's one of the best water in the world as well. Fiji water? Yes, from Fiji Island. Oh, it's actually from Fiji, that's yes. what was the brand name? Yes, yes. But it is, you oh, know... I'm staggered. I mean, why bring water from Fiji? I don't quite get it. Is it just because it makes people feel good because they think of Pacific Islands? Well, I think there is, you know, there is a combination of everything. I think people are truly... Some people truly like water because of the taste. Some people like it because, because yes, it's pure and the air is pure and it comes from a very pure uh, area of the world. Claridge's water menu says that